item A, Blackboard Student Notification System, Appendix G, Dr. Holliday. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair, members of the board. This is our uh, call notification system known as Connect 5. Uh, you might have also known it previously when the product was called Alert Now. Sometimes it's still called Alert Now. We're asking to re-up that, so uh, we appreciate if you would approve that for us. Yes, that was. Move for approval. Second. Comments, questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? It's approved. Item B, exchange of utility easements for Bellamy Elementary School, Appendix H. Mr. Board. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this is <laughs> uh, a request by a, a lot owner in Beau Rivage to reroute a utility easement <coughs> that currently runs across his lot. Um, we've spoken about this before in closed session. The map is the very last page of the attachment, and you can see from the map <coughs> where the existing easement goes uh, and where it is in, uh, proposed to be rerouted. Um, it currently runs straight across the middle of the lot, and uh, as you can see, it's being rerouted around the perimeter uh, that is a portion of an old utility easement that was acquired back in the 1980s that was never used. Uh, there, there are no pipes in the ground. Um, I've spoken to facility planning. We don't believe that it will ever need to be used by the school board uh, because the, the utilities are provided from a different direction or a different, different part of, of that uh, same easement. <clears throat> it doesn't need to extend that far anymore. Uh, and just in case there was ever any need uh, of the school board, which is highly unlikely, uh, we are retaining the smaller portion that goes around the perimeter, which would be sufficient for to place a pipe in if that was ever necessary. And, and so, wasn't this the lot where he couldn't sell it due to this problem? He couldn't sell it because the easement runs across, across. across his lot. And so <clears throat> the school board is uh, giving up the portion that runs across the middle of the lot and exchanging that for the part that runs around the perimeter as an even trade. Move, Move for approval. approval. Comments, questions? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Approved <coughs> item C, procurement plan, child and nutrition I'm sorry, program. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. Uh, that actually, procedurally, there are two specific things the board needs to approve, which would be the resolution that goes along with that and the actual relocation agreement. So there were two things the board oh. needed to approve, and I just wanted to minutes to be clear the board was approving both. Okay, do you need to read the resolution or? No. I think that's up to the board. Okay. Okay, so it's understood then that we're approving <coughs> both the resolution and the, okay. Okay. That was my motion. That was your, <laughs> and there was a second, correct? Who was? Yeah. We voted. So it's approved. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, now, is that it Ms. on that one? Okay. Yes, sir. Thank Item you. Item C, procur procurement, if I can say the word. Procure procurement. Mr. Hans, <laughs> procurement plan. <laughs> this, is, this is the child nutrition uh, procurement plan. Procurement. The board approved the uh, procurement plan originally in 2010. <coughs> uh, subsequent to that, with the approval of DPI in 2013, since the majority of the procurement plan were procedures, it was removed from uh, policy 4410 to simplify 4410 and have it stand alone and the procurement procedure stood alone as procedures for child nutrition uh, procurement. Subsequently, the U.S. Department of Agriculture in 2014 promulgated some changes to uh, the procurement plan and those were implemented. <coughs> and now we need to uh, bring it before the board again because uh, child nutrition is undergoing an audit, which, a federal audit, which they do every five years and that's occurring in May of this year, and part of that audit requires original signatures or current signatures for the procurement <coughs> plan. So we're presenting the procurement plan back to the board with the changes that were promulgated by the uh, uh, Agricultural Department in 2014 for the board's consideration for approval. Move for <laughs> approval. Second. Comment, questions? Mr. Hayes, I, I have, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Hayes, I've uh, noticed two minor changes I'm going to recommend to this before the board approves it. Uh, if you look on the very uh, first page of the procurement plan itself, which is the second or third page in, yes, right there at the on paragraph A at the top, where uh, it used to say 90,000 and above, and that's uh, 
shows shows it being changed to more than ninety thousand. Uh, that needs to stay as it was, ninety thousand and above. And also, so the and above would not have the strike through. Right. And then further along in the agreement in section E. <coughs> There is a proposed change to uh, subsection 1C where the word service is stricken out and in its place it says reason for non-competitive procurement. Um, that change does not be, need to be made. So it needs to be left as is in regard to that particular subsection. It'll say service? It'll just say service. Okay. And I've spoken with uh, Child Nutrition Director Ms. Smith, and she's okay with those changes. I move to adopt it as amended. I move to adopt it as amended. Second. Okay. Any other comments or questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Let's see, next item, item D, Bellamy Elementary School painting contract, defendants J, Mr. Hintz. Yes, Mr. Chairman, request that you approve uh, the painting contract for Bellamy Ele Elementary School. Move for approval. Second. Question. How much, how much is getting painted? Of the interior of the building. The whole building? In oh, yes. Okay, good. Any other questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Item G. Uh, bids for New Hanover High School, George West Building. Didn't renovation. you just skip E and F? No, they got to be the oh, Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, for the George West Building renovations, dependence M, Mr. Hintz. Yes, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Request that you approve the um, bids for the uh, George West Building, New Hanover High School. Move for approval. Second. Questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Item H. Change order for New Hanover High School, George West Building, renovations, dependence in, Mr. Hintz. Yes, Mr. Chairman, request uh, the board consider and approve the change order for the George West Building, New Hanover High School. <coughs> Move for approval. Second. Questions? Yeah, well, I mean, we just approved the uh, yes. renovations. Why, why yes. now? The yes, Mr. Higgins, if, if you will recall, um, <coughs> We had discussed this some time ago. The uh, mechanical contractor who was the low bid for this oh, particular okay. contractor. Okay. Uh, for right. We would like him. To, we would like them to change that because of poor performance on a prior right. project okay. with us. That's enough. I understand. <laughs> I, I just. Uh, I remember you talking about telling me about it, but I didn't know that's what this was. Okay. Yeah, that's All it. In favor. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Approved. Item I: bids for Sidbury Road complex improvements. Dependents owed, Mr. Hintz. Yes, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Re request that the board consider and approve the uh, bids for the Sidbury Road Complex Improvement. Move for approval. Second. Questions? Yes, sir, just one. Mr. Hans, um, could you talk just a little about the scope of work for this? This, this is um, going to be a couple of different things. We're going to uh, build the northern bus garage in which we will house uh, the buses and this will be behind uh, the school. And then we will also be renovating the school for College Park to uh, be able to occupy it um, as a school, as a swing space when College Park is uh, replaced. And is there any, are there any other bids expected for this project? I'm sorry? Are there any other bids expected with this project? Is, will this bid complete the uh, Funding for the work you want to do? Um, I believe so. Does this have this? The mobile units will be there. We'll have mobile classroom uh, units that will be there, uh, placed there for College Park because there's not enough classrooms inside the building, and so that will be additional that will come to the board. Thank you. Actually, it'll be modular units rather than individual mobile mm -hmm. units. A couple of modular units. Of course, and then long range there will be additional. Uh, changes once it becomes a middle school, correct? Once we get through the elementary constructions that we're doing and then convert it to a middle school, then I right. guess we but, get to a... But none of that is funded. Right, at this, right. At this but time. that would be right. way down the road. 
Any other questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Item J. Bids for E.A. Laney High School Phase Two Abatement Replacement Appendix P. Mr. Hans. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Request the board approve the um, asbestos abatement for uh, Laney High School. Move for approval. Second. Questions? <coughs> All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Item K, dedication of right of way to North Carolina Department of Transportation at the Sidbury Road Complex, Appendix Q, Mr. Hans. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Request that the board approve the right of way dedication uh, for Sidbury Road. Move for approval. Second. Questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Item L, amendment to access utility and drainage easement agreement for Porter's Neck Elementary School, Appendix R, Mr. Hans. Yes, Mr. Chairman, request that the board approve the uh, uh, amendment for the access and utility and drainage easement for Porter's Neck. Move for approval. Second. Questions? The, what necessitated the, the change, Mr. Hans, for this? Well, this, is, this, this basically aligns it with the way it actually is. We've had the three-party agreement between uh, the Cape Fear Public Utility Authority, the developer, and us. And this actually aligns it with the way it's actually going to be on the ground now. So did that answer your, your question? Uh, well, I, I don't know that I need further explanation. If I have questions, I'll ask you later, but thank you. Oh, Appreciate okay. it. Mr. Chairman, if I may also, um, we uh, had sent this amendment to the developer that <clears throat> we purchased the property from and um, ask them, because they're the other party to the agreement, they need to sign it. And I haven't heard back as to whether it's exactly like they want it. Uh, we think it will be because their engineers have approved the map showing where the easements are being moved to. Um, so what I would ask is that the board, if you're inclined, is to approve this, but give the superintendent authority uh, with your general counsel's approval to uh, make minor changes to the wording of the easement agreement um, as long as it doesn't change the location of the easements. Um, if there are any major changes proposed, we would bring that to you back. We would bring it back to the board. So if, if we would ask that you approve it subject to the superintendent and your general counsel, me being given authority to make minor changes to the wording of the document as long as they're consistent with the agreement. Who made that motion? Is it me. Is that agreeable? Yes. Okay, any other questions? Are all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, Approved. Item M, utility easement agreement for Porter's Neck Elementary School, Appendix S, Mr. Hans. Yes, Mr. Chairman, request that you approve the utility easement for Porter's Neck Elementary School with Cape Fear Public Utility Authority. Move for approval. Second. Questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Item N, Resolution of Support for Educational Initiatives, Appendix T. Mr. Higgins. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this is the matter that Ms. Edelman spoke to you about. Uh, to give just a little bit of background, she and some other members of the uh, League of Women Voters met with Mr. Shell and myself to develop a resolution in support of education in North Carolina. Uh, you have on your uh, agenda tonight uh, that resolution um, and basically where it what it does is it um, says that we asked the North Carolina we the New Hanover County Board of Education called for the New Hanover North Carolina General Assembly to fully fund k-12 public education and reject the trend towards shifting educational spending to the local counties that the New Hanover County Board of Education calls upon the General Assembly to develop and implement a, a plan to raise teacher pay so as to make North Carolina competitive with the surrounding states, that the New Hanover County Board of Education calls upon the General Assembly to pass House Bill 803, an act to increase the weight of school growth to 50% in calculation <coughs> of school performance scores, and New Hanover County Board of Education calls upon the General Assembly to grant local LEAs control over their school calendars. Okay. And I move that we uh, adopt this resolution. 
And I second the motion. Do we have a motion and a second? Questions? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I have, I have some questions. Um, I, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm kind. I'm with you on the the increasing the weight of school growth to 50% in the calculation of school performance scores. Um, the dis, the discussion about granting local LEAs control over school calendars. I I, I think that's definitely something um, that that we support. Um, the concern I have is is. Um, the, the resolution to raise teacher pay to make it competitive with surrounding states, I think, um, I think that's, a, that's a moving target. And it's difficult to, uh, it's difficult to define. Um, and it doesn't take into consideration quite a few, um, uh, quite a few things such as, um, uh, you know, Tax, li tax liability or tax, um, you know, local taxes and things like that. So, I, I, I'm just very uncomfortable with this uh, with this resolution, to be quite honest. Um, the what is what is meant by fully funding K <coughs> twelve public education? What 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 do you mean by that? You know, I mean, you're on the one hand, you're saying we want you to fully fund education, but we also want local control. So. In a sense, you're you're essentially saying we want authority, but we don't want responsibility. That's the way I read this um, well, I mean, resolution. I think I think the gist of this is to say that what has happened is the state of North <coughs> Carolina has began has begun shifting the cost of public education from the state, which has historically since the 1930s been responsible for public education. To the counties. I mean, we're asking for seventy million dollars from New Hanover County to adequately provide education. If you look at what was being spent in two thousand eight, and I went back and looked, two thousand eight, what was being spent on K twelve education. Now, I know that uh, Representative Davis talked about that we were seventh in the nation, but I don't think that. I think if you just pull out K twelve education, we're way down in the 40s. So what was being spent in 2008 and what was spent last <coughs> year, which is what, seven years? Last year they spent $200 million more than they spent in 2008. And what we have seen is our percentage of demand from the local county has continued to grow. And all we're asking is that the state do a better job in providing uh, for many of the things that we believe is imperative in quality education, if that makes sense. Well, and, and I understand that, but what you're talking about, you're, you're talking about a period of 2008 was a, a, a recession hit. And so, well, you know. Well, start with 2007 and 8. That's when, that was the last good year. Right. And so, you know, during that time frame, uh, we, we saw a significant dip in, in funding. Right. Um, all across the board, the federal government, uh, through the the No Child uh, Race to the Top funding, basically um, injected a lot of money in, in right. to try to shore up the budget. Um, and so we've ha the state has had to absorb a lot of that funding. And so the fact that we've been able to sort of come out of that and we're now above where we were is is actually a, a good thing. I mean, well, it, it, it's good, but it's it's <clears throat> it's marginally better. And and, and the thing is, when you last year the state thought they were going to have, be three hundred million dollars short, they came <coughs> up four hundred million dollars to the good. This year, supposedly they're already two hundred and nearly two hundred and fifty million dollars better off this year than they were last mm -hmm. year. And uh, we're not talking about. Well, it does. Uh, I think it does say <laughs> uh, fully fund. Yeah, you, you, you're right about that. But all we're calling is for the. I mean, if you. If you'd rather change the wording, but we're asking for the state to better provide funding so counties do not have to supplement what the state should have been given. And so, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm open to suggestions about how this could be reworded to accommodate that. Well, I, I'm, I'm with you, and I don't want this to be viewed as, um, as, as me saying I don't think we should 
um, fully fund education or that we, you know, I, I agree. I think, I think teachers need to be paid more. I, I, I'm 110% uh, with that. But I think, it's a, I think it's a structural issue. I think we have a, we have a system that is extremely top heavy. And so um, to me personally, this is my, my personal belief, um, is you know, eliminating the bureaucracy at the top is what will create a lot of, um, you know, will um, eliminate a lot of the, the, you know, funding, the barriers to, to the funding that can push down to the local level. So to me, this, without providing the, we think this is where the issue is, and that will help us to, to you know, better fund public education, without that piece, I can't support this. And you, you, when you say top heavy, you're talking about in Raleigh? It, I'm talking about specifically, you want me to identify specifically, well, yeah. the Department of Public Instruction right, the, and the State Board of Education. But that the doesn't two most useless um, <laughs> bureaucratic <laughs> nightmares that I have ever come across, and those two departments need to be shut down, as far as I'm concerned, shut down immediately. They are a waste of taxpayer money, and they are just creating a, a nightmare situation for every LEA in the state. I'm, I, I'm, I don't necessarily disagree with you on that, but I don't <laughs> see where that affects when you look at South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, and Virginia, the states that take <laughs> us, they all pay their teachers more than we pay. So even with what you're saying is true, I see nothing wrong with this wording in that we want to be competitive. I, I'd, I'd rather be at the top of the list rather than at the bottom. Well, but, but you have to look at every state funds their public education system differently. It depends on the, on the funding structure. Some fu North Carolina funds their, um, we, f we probably spend, and, and Dr. Markley probably could speak to this maybe a little better than I can as far as the percentage of state funds that we utilize um, versus local and federal. Um, as to other states, but you have to take into consideration um, the, the, those variables of other states. It's very difficult to compare states with each other, and you know y you have to you have to sort of bring them all down to the same level in order to com to make those comparisons. Um, you know, it's it, we can't compare North Carolina to. I mean, I, and I know we're talking about you know, s surrounding states. We can't compare North Carolina to New York State. But, but are you saying then we that can't. South Carolina pays their teachers more, not because of what the state does, but because the counties in South Carolina fund higher than, say, New Hanover County funds us? I mean, is that where, I mean, is that what you're saying, I guess? It, it's a I know possibility. it does vary from state it's to state. It's a possibility, but what I'm saying is we're, what we're saying is that, you know, we, we want to be more competitive, but we, we really don't know why other counties, or why they're able to pay their, you know, w what their funding structure is in, in order to, you know, to, we, we haven't done a comparison. So to me, I can't, I can't say, um, or I can't support a, a resolution that says, you know, I don't know that South Carolina is actually paying their, their teachers. They, they pay about a thousand dollars, on average, about a thousand dollars. Okay, I've but if they're paying their teachers a thousand dollars more, but if their, <laughs> if their property taxes are higher, is their take-home pay any better? I mean, I know that I know that when you go down, you know, I know Texas was talking about, um, you know, at one point they were they were trying to to pull teachers down to Texas. Well, their property taxes were a lot higher there. You have to look at, you know, what their discretionary, what their take-home pay would actually be when you factor in all of those, uh, you know, all of those, um, you know, those local situations that you know ultimately they're not taking home any more than they would say here in, in New Hanover County so like I said it's it, you have to you have to take all of these variables into consideration in order to, well, make, and make, to make a comparison I, I would suggest I think we agree on the on the majority of this resolution let me wordsmith it a little bit and bring it back on, on May 1st that's uh, okay that's fine with me. That's a good suggestion. But I hate for us to get tied up on one or two issues when there's obviously the vast majority of this resolution I think we can come to consensus on. And I would much rather pass it on a unanimous vote. Okay. All right, so I'll yeah. bring it back uh, first to me. And we certainly appreciate the support from our community leaders. Mm -hmm. Yes. You remember that? Had someone made a motion? I made a motion. That you want to just withdraw the... I'll, I'll, I will with draw it and we'll uh, table I mean, it. I, you know I'm, I'm not going to force a vote uh, just 
paper for the May meeting. Yep. Come back on the May. Was well, that the only area that uh, <coughs> the way that's worded as far as being competitive with the surrounding states? I think I can make it. I well, I, I mean, Ms. Okay. Goble, why don't you email the board your concerns, let us look at it, let us give the superintendent suggestions from the board, and take care of it that way? I would be happy to. Thank I, th you. I think there are some there are a few whereases in here that are that are probably misstatements, but I'd be happy to do that. Great. Well, another option in addition to that would be that this resolution comes from the League of Women Voters and this board accepts it without taking a position on it. I mean, why would I want to do something like that? The reason I would suggest that is we are actively working with state government, state officials, and we're trying to uh, gain their support with funding on numerous levels. And um, as, as Mr. Higgins said, um, they don't always agree with the statistics that are showing up. So I think it would be uh, wise uh, to reword it and reword it in such a way that it's not abrasive to the very people that we're seeking help from. Thank you. But I don't, I, I mean, I will say, I don't find it abrasive. I just think we've just asked that they do it. And, you know, the one change that could be made is that uh, the uh, first resolution could be that North Carolina General Assembly adequately fund K-12 instead of, if you don't like, you know, if, if if the word fully is in, then adequately, and let them define what's adequate funding. I think they already have. Well, they may have, but at least, you know, we're, 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 we're just telling them that we don't necessarily agree with them. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yes, and we need, they need them to be realistic with and them. And I'll go along with the new wording, but I really don't see anything abrasive. I mean, you know, we're stating I, I, facts. I, I don't see it as being abrasive, but I mean, you know, I'd, I, I don't think like we're gonna solve it tonight, that's why. I've Suggest that we do this by email. Okay. All right, you withdrew it, right, Ms. Higgins? Yeah, I'll withdraw okay. it then. Uh, item O, Curriculum Course Guide to Pennant Shoe, Dr. Smith. Yes, um, I am bringing before the board this evening a recommendation for um, changes to the 2016 2017 Curriculum Course Guide. Um, we would like to add an uh, on level. Um, service learning course at New Hanover High School. Um, I believe it was um, last year we had a presentation for the honors level course at um, New Hanover High School and we've had a lot of success with that and um, we've had a request from the school to expand that course offering. Um, we also are um, um, bringing additional information regarding the IB courses that will be available for the 2016-2017 school year at Hoggart High School. And then for our middle school program, we are looking to add classical piano at Holly Shelter Middle School. And we have with us tonight representation <coughs> from each of those schools, should there be any questions. Move for approval. Is there a second? Second. Questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Thank you. Item P, sole Thank source you. resolution with Castle Learning, Appendix V, Dr. Smith. Yes, we would ask the board's approval for the sole source resolution for Castle Learning. Move for approval. Second. Questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Item Q, 2015-16 calendar revisions, Appendix W, Dr. Smith. Yes, thank you. Um, the final item that I have for this evening, um, we are asking for um, a amendment to the traditional school calendars. Um, due to implement weather, there was a, a school day that we missed, um, October the 5th, I believe it was. And um, per um, our process, um, we will add that missed school day <coughs> to the end of the calendar. So we're just amending the calendars to reflect that day. Um, additional work day at the end of the traditional school calendars. Move for approval. Second. Second. Any questions? 
All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Item R. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, policy 3120, uh, fund balance. Uh, Dr. Markley. This was reviewed in policy and would puts our um, fund balance policy in line with what our budget recommendation is. So I'd ask for approval first reading tonight and then second reading in May along with the approval of the budget. And I would ask Dr. Markley that we send a copy out to the full board <coughs> since only the policy committee members saw the proposal. We'll take care of it. Okay, thank you. Move for approval. Second. No. Did you already make it? First, first, first reading. reading. I didn't think so. Oh, on it? it's, mm -mm. I don't think so. First oh, sorry. Reading. Just for a first right. reading. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, first reading. Disregard my motion. Thank you. <laughs> Save it for next month. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next on the agenda, item 13, call to the audience. We had no one sign up for our non-agenda items. Item uh, no. 14, no closed session. Oh, That's no it. Session. That's where I got it from. I did too. <laughs> Uh, item 15, any correspondence? Any board members want to share? Mr. Shell? No, sir. Ms. Kavanaugh? No, thank you. Mr. Higgins? No. Ms. Coble? Well, I, I would like to say that, yes, we were invited to uh, the Fine Arts Center at Cape Fear Community College to meet with the Board of Trustees for um, an information session, and it was really um, informative. And it, it's an opportunity for this board, as well as the Board of Trustees, to work together. And certainly they are aware of our CTE high school need. And so it was a very worthwhile event. Very, they did a very good job. I think we, everyone enjoyed it. It was good for both boards. Uh, item 16, under announcements, item A. <coughs> Members of the New Hanover County Board of Education will attend the Isaiah Festival School kickoff visit April 7th, 9 a.m. The event will be held at Ogden Elementary School uh, on Middle Sound Road. <coughs> Item B, the New Hanover County School Student Advisory Breakfast will be held on Wednesday, April 27th, uh, 8 a.m. here in the Board Center. Item C, the next regular meeting of the Board is scheduled for Tuesday, May 3rd. Any work sessions coming up that you know of or anything? None at this time. So right mm -hmm. now, that's what we have on the calendar. Uh, any other announcements? <coughs> anything you want to We add? will have a policy committee meeting prior to that, but the time has not been established. <coughs> okay. Uh, next item on the agenda, item 17, adjournment. Is there a I motion? I move that we adjourn. <laughs> Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Thank you. We are adjourned. Ms. Cavanaugh is moving.